Well, here comes Big Daddy Don Garlitz. You hear the pipes are cackling. He's heading toward the starting line. That's our television compound. He's driving by right now. I can poke my head Wave to him, Dave. Big Daddy! Big Daddy! Look at this guy, Salzy! Well, Big Daddy makes his way to the starting line. We head down to the top end. Catch up with Gary Jarrett. And for the first time as a husband and wife team, Erica Ender Stevens will drive in competition against Richie. That's weird the way the ladder works out. How have you done against him in the past? It's been a long time since you raced side by side. I think, that, well, I know my first professional start back in 05 in Phoenix, I had to race him first round. I was number 16 and he was on the pole. And I believe we had to race in Denver of 07. So he certainly got the winning record on me up to this point. But, you know, I'm hopeful to change that tomorrow. Uh, this certainly wasn't the way we intended to run any of the three elite performance cars here at the U.S. Nationals. But, you know, we're doing our best with what we have on our plate. And Rick and Ricky Jones have been running around with like chickens with their heads cut off, tuning in three cars. But they've done a tremendous job. And, uh, you know, we'll just do our best and let God do the rest. And we'll see what happens. Um, you know, I didn't want to run Richie first round. We brought him out here so that he could help take out some of the heavy hitters for us in points. But we'll uh, see what happens tomorrow. A little trash talking tonight, or will it be silence? No, there'll be silence. <laughs> <laughs> so she says. <laughs> if he knows what's best for him, there'll be silence. <laughs> yes, dear. Yes, dear. <laughs> well, it was June 11th back in 1967 when Big Daddy started to grow that beard. He did the same thing this year in anticipation of this iconic moment in celebration of the 60th Chevrolet Performance U.S. Nationals. You saw Big Daddy earlier with some of that beard. It's looking exactly like he had it back in the day. Maybe a little touch of gray to take away some of that, but Big Daddy cannot wait to get around the corner here and simulate that winter circle and shave that beard off once again. Trivia time. Big Daddy Don Garland's made the final pass of his top fuel career in Indianapolis in 2003. Who was alongside him? in that qualifying run. Hmm. Hmm. wonder who that could just have oh, Scott Palmer. Wow. I wouldn't have got that one. Me neither. Of course, I don't get a lot of things. That's what we got Lewis for. <laughs> Stack guy, you got more. Yeah, the last guy to race Don Garlitz in competition was Brandon Bernstein. That was in Atlanta. Prior okay. to that, the last guy to race him at the big go was Mike Dunn in 2001, driving the New York Yankees top field dragster for George Steinbrenner. That was pretty cool, racing Garlitz and be able to say I beat Don Garlitz. Hey, how about this? Does it get any better? You got the legend Big Daddy Don Garlitz and the voice of the NHRA Bob Fry back. On tires that he we'll come back and show you what it looked like at the Chevrolet Performance U.S. Nationals. Big, he never looked so good. Thank goodness this footage from 1967 still exists in the archives of the NHRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series. To set the scene, it was 67. Don Garlis had never been in the sixes, and on June 11th that year vowed he wouldn't shave until... He did do that. Not only did he do it, but he did it winning Indy. In the final round, run, ran a 677. Lowy T of the weekend was only a 676. So it was pretty amazing to be able to not even run the six second range and then do that number in the final. You know what's amazing, Mike, is look at that circle that was right there on his left shoulder, and that was to pull the parachute. He came down here to the U.S. <laughs> had to reach over and pull his that thing. Are down there with him now the now they got buttons. To shave it just like he did back then. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, 677 oh, in the cool. finals at Indy. Beat James Ward <laughs> and shave that beard. No, and it wasn't just Big Daddy Don Garlitz. Everybody was encouraged to grow like Garlitz through that campaign. Alcohol, guys. Stat guy, I think you're going to come in clean shaving tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'm going to break out the there. razor. This nice. is so much fun. I got goosebumps. What a marvelous job. One of the iconic moments in the sport of drag racing. <laughs> How about that big brush? Big Daddy, that had to be in your entire career. Somehow I have an idea that these props will ever. be on the top full so alcohol was, I mean, crew float. Know, it, but, it will make its way in front of the grandstands tomorrow. Because, you know, coming here, qualifying 23rd in a field of 32 cars, working your way all the way through five rounds in an afternoon and winning the race. I mean, a complete underdog coming into the event and then winning. And, uh, you know, they were doing a special TV special, Fram was. And it just, it, uh, Frank McGonigal from Frank, the president, said, this is just like a Hollywood script. And we came here and produced it. You hadn't qualified at the first two races of the year. Your competitors were saying that you're washed up, you should stay home.
Yeah, you know, we almost didn't come to the event because we didn't qualify at the Winter Nationals or the Spring Nationals. And you said you went 72 hours working on that car. Your wife, God bless her, set four times a day aside so you guys could eat, but you didn't stop working until you got that car done. That's exactly right. And of course, we never took time to shave. <laughs> well, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. You should have. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Big Daddy Don Garlici, 1967 U.S. Nationals Top Fuel Champion. Bruce Bloom, you said it best. That was a goose bump moment.